You know, right off the bat, I have to say, unique situation. Maybe it's the norm, but I haven't seen it before. Uh, working with Ryan Couture, a little unusual for guys to be working with women. Uh, yeah, I, I would say that. Um, you know, I've been around a long time, a longer than a lot of guys, but the guys who know me and they respect my skills and they know what I can do and I've trained quite a few men um, at one time when Rob McCullough, Razor Wa Rob, was the lightweight champion for WEC I trained him for about two years and I was his boxing coach um, I've trained, held pads for Tito um, a lot of different guys, I actually held pads for Randy right. once or twice when he was you know, needed somebody to fill in, I was like oh my god so yeah. that was pretty amazing and Ryan is one of my main training partners um, so I help him with his boxing, and he helps me with my ground. So it is it is a unique situation, but um, they look at me like an athlete, definitely not like you know a girl. But it does draw a lot of stares. I'm like, wow, this you know I know yeah. what I'm I know what I'm doing. So yeah. it's it's nice respect and that they look at me as a, an athlete and a coach. Well, I would think part of it, gaining respect, is actually getting in there and sparring with them because I was talking to some of the guys. I was talking to Ray Sefo, and, and he's like, uh, she hits kind of hard. So, I mean, that's kind of, I would assume that's kind of a wake-up call. Okay, you, you think I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. Let's go in there and let's slug it out a little bit, and you'll, you can feel the power. Definitely. Yeah, I, you know, I don't like to go and you know, to my own horn per se, but I've been training a long time. I still have things to work on. I'm never complacent. I, I don't go around with, you know, I'm beating everybody up, but I definitely give these guys a run for their money and um, I hit very hard. So Ray's one of my coaches and he's just like, oh my God, you hit harder than, you know, 80% of the guys in here. So that's a very nice compliment coming from him. And some of the guys here don't want to spar with me because of that reason. It's, uh, you know, they don't want right. to get hit by a girl. It's it's like a lose-lose for them because they get hit, but then they go crazy on a, on a woman. And right. so we have to be very careful about uh, what who I train with and who's good for me to work with. And I work with Ray and Bryce and Ryan and a couple other guys. So I feel very, very safe with them. All right, so Aaron's name is out there um, as a potential opponent eventually for Cyborg. Yeah. Cyborg's a big woman. Now, I'm, I'm not a big guy. I'm probably 5'9", and like about 190, 195 pounds. As you can see, Aaron is probably a little taller than me. Yeah. And my first question for you, without insulting you, and we were talking about the weight cut, how in the hell can you make 145? It's not like you're fat, but you are, you are a solid, right. uh, you know, built woman. So how, can you get down to 145? I can, and I have done that. I've, I've done it before. It's not the easiest thing. Uh, but it is something that I made the decision to do last year when, you know, I came out of retirement and, and wanted to get a chance to have the casual fan know me. And after I, uh, you know, finished my three fight contract with PFC, which was a smaller promotion in uh, Northern California and Strikeforce could see that I could make that weight. The biggest thing is doing it properly. I mean, even right now, I'm probably a few pounds of being what I would normally walk around at and then that'll make it easier for me once I acclimate at a little lower weight it makes it easier for me to get to 145 but it's you know it's not easy especially for women um, you know cyborg struggled with it Gina struggles with it we all do I think 145 is a very strange weight class it was built for a certain reason right. and then you know, it's like the the smaller girls, they're coming up in weight, and then they're, they're complaining that we put on too much weight. And then the girls that are my weight, they don't want to do what it takes to get down to that weight. And, you know, I don't blame them, but this is my last run. I've been around a long time, and I want to show that I'm the best in the world. And, and I know I am. I just got to get my opportunity, and, and it'll come. I'm being patient. So And then that gives me uh, the time to lose my weight properly. I don't want to cut you know, 20 pounds in a month, or it just wouldn't work like that. So I have enough time. For you, is much of the, looking from the outside, is much of the cyborg mystique about intimidation? Oh, yeah. And, and for you, I don't think you're going to be intimidated from a size standpoint. But she, I mean, she is overwhelmingly, uh, you know, she's, she's a massive person. You can see against Marlo, she got hit, and she was just kind of walking yeah. through everything. And Marlo's is not small, but she towered over her. I think, you know, it's kind of funny because I ran into her on uh, Saturday at the UFC and I was talking to one of my friends and she knew him from they fought on the last card together and I'm actually a lot bigger than her so we kind of like caught eyes and I was oh. like hmm and <laughs> she just kept walking you know I would have definitely if she stopped to talk to me I would have talked to her and and you know said hi or what's going on and just yeah. being polite but uh, you know I am I'm a bigger woman than her I think naturally so 
she didn't look that big to me and maybe because she's keeping at the lower weight too i know she's gotten up to my weight before but you know marlosa's problem too was that when we used to fight in japan she was heavier she did train differently now she doesn't even i heard she didn't even cut weight for this fight right. so that's a big thing when you have somebody cutting 20 pounds and then they weigh in and they have a 20 pound advantage so uh marlos you know she did great but if she had done a couple things a little bit different maybe it could have come out differently, but she did great. She's a tough girl, and Cyborg's tough too, but it's great. I just get to keep watching and the holes in her game and where a bigger, more technical, seasoned fighter is going to just really give her problems. And she still really has not been hit. She's been shown that it's very easy to hit her. Gina hit her with everything but the kitchen sink, but just didn't have enough behind it. Mm -hmm. So I know I can hit her and probably three times as hard. So it's uh, it's just a matter of training right, conditioning, and... It's a fight I can win. I'm very confident. So is everybody in here. They wouldn't fluff my feathers right. and, and tell me that. So.